Hello modders, my name is Jack, and while this is the first video on my channel, I'll try to be professional about everything. Today, we will be creating a Sundowner over Raiden mod using my two new WMB editor scripts that I thought deserved a tutorial. To do this, we've got the scripts right here, we've got the readme, we've got everything pulled up. Most, more importantly, we have Sundowner files, and Raiden files, and a dummy file that we will be copying into the player folder. Now to begin, let's just import these files without making any script changes. So that's gonna be PL1010 and PL1010, which of course is Raiden's ID. And if we load up the game, we'll see what happens. I am of course using a mod that skips most of the logos. It's very nice, you should get it. Alright, so right off the bat, we're not looking half bad. We've got Sundowner here, we, he's got his big dangly sheaths, animations work correctly for the most part. The two big issues are that Raiden still has hair and his visor here that you can see sort of clipping through Sundowner's face. And I believe that if we were to get the camera close enough, we might... Eh. Raiden's head is in there too, just take my word for it. Yeah. So, and also the sword, we've got effects, but no actual sword. That might be a problem later on, unless we want to combine it with a nice knife mod, as someone has before when making this sort of thing. So let's quit out of the game. So the first WMB editor we'll be using is the bone merger, and we're going to use that to copy the bones from Raiden's file into Sundowner's file. Now, in order to do that, I already have everything unpacked by that tool, but you are free to use whatever tool you like. We'll get there when we get there. So, this fixes one little UMB file to work in place of another. And what we have, we need to first input the file that we want to change. That's going to be Sundowner's file. And to do that, I'm going to simply input the full path to the file. Now, yes, it is quite unfortunate that I am required to input the full path to the file. Unfortunately, I did not make a pop-up in this version. But that's uh, the best uh, we got. Yeah, so that's the file we can do. What we can also do is because the WMB Editor's folder is on my desktop, we can also use a relative path, which is to say dot dot slash to access the desktop uh, emo31b. Well. In this case, the donor file is going to be Raiden. There we go. So that has successfully edited the file. You can tell it created a back file right here. That's just a copy of the original version. Uh, if we diff them, we'll see that uh, there's some differences, some chunks that have been moved around. And that's done. Next, uh, we just want to repack the dat file and see what comes of it. So I'm using a command line dat tool, but you're free to use whatever tool you like. I know that uh, Game Hacker Ruslan has a nice GUI one. It's just that I think it's my antivirus is making it that occasionally. It just doesn't work, but uh, the command line version seems to always work for me. What? Oh, right, right. Command lines, they do that. Okay. So that's edited this, we'll paste it in, and while we're at it, let's get rid of that hair. So that's going to be PL1011, PL, PL1017, and PL1014, if I recall correctly. And then this edited file, that is now PL1010. And let's run the game. Ta-da! Alright, so we've gotten rid of the... Uh, the remain the extra stuff using the dummy file, which I, I think that might actually be Sam's Pfizer, isn't it? It is. I need to get a better dummy file. Hmm. But the sheath is now on Sundowner's back, and if we attack, we see that he can hold a sword. Isn't that wonderful? It, there are some issues still. For instance, if you attempt to kick, then it seems to be attaching to his butt. Or maybe his wrist rather than his foot. But altogether, 
what we're looking at is a much improved version. I mean, look at that. He's holding his spine and everything. Look at that happy warmonger. Alright, but this is going nowhere. So, let's demonstrate the other script. Now, the second script I have here is known as Coordinate Shifter, or WMB Edit. We'll be running this script through the command line, because the interactive version for it is a little slower, and I get to demonstrate to you some basic command line usage. So, to run the script, WMB Editors slash WMB Edit dot bat. That doesn't work. Because, of course, you can't do that with bat files for some stupid reason. You can do this, because there's a wmbedit.exe located inside the bin folder. Okay, so that's how you run it. And what you want to do is input path to target file, target method mesh identifier, and then options. So let's run it with help to see what those options are. So H for help, you know it says so right there. So what we want, we don't want bone mode, we want to be shifting the vertices of this Sundowner's sheaths. And I happen to know that the sheaths are called Saya L and Saya R, and we're going to be getting rid of those sheaths. We're going to be collapsing them into nothingness. So we want to set coordinates. We don't want them to be relative, we do want them to be fixed. We're going to set all of the coordinates to zero, thus basically getting rid of the sheaths because they're so tiny you can't see them. And X coordinate, Y coordinate, Z coordinate. Okay. If I didn't talk too fast for you, what that means is that we input em031b dot wm dot wmb and we input the sheath name, which is Saya L, and we input the X of zero and the Z of zero. And Y doesn't really matter. If you want, you could set it to a particular value, but this is the script. We'll be, this way we'll be running the script. Okay. So that just ran. If we compare the back file now, we'll see that it has been overwritten with a different backup that changes all of these coordinates right here. Isn't that wonderful? And we want to do the same thing with the right sheath. Okay, all good there. And let's repack the dat file and see how it comes out. Of course, this is just my workflow. The point of this video is to demonstrate how to use the scripts, because I know that there will be some issues with that. You can always just double-click on the interactive version, but uh, it's sometimes nice to understand the structure of things enough to do it a different way. And there we go, those sheaths are gone. It, can you see the attachment point? Not really. Uh, but, I mean, that just looks a lot cleaner, I don't know about you. Uh, but uh, I, I'm pretty happy with this. You know, for a quick mod, uh, we've got... Uh, that took, what, 10 minutes? And uh, we've got a cool new mod out of it. Plus, you can use these scripts however you like. Uh, Sundowner happens to be a very nice case in that he mostly works even without the scripts, and I can't guarantee that the scripts will always save you. But that's really all I have for you today, so enjoy, like if you enjoyed or if you found these scripts useful, and see you around.